Yo yo everybody, we're back here again today for another exciting video and today we are doing something a little crazy. So as you know, on this channel we have, you know, we started this kind of Road to Division 1 series even though there hasn't really been any talk about online seasons yet. Um, but you know, we've been, even, you know, kind of doing some a little small series in Hunt where we're trying to make the best team we can without, without paying any money. And today we are doing something pretty much completely opposite of that. So if you look in the top right corner, we have almost 18,000 um, hut points or whatever they're called. I can't, NHL points or whatever they are. And today we are doing a little bit of an experiment. So I think I got two different packs. I think I got the 5,800 point pack and the most expensive point pack, which is I believe the 12,000 point pack. So what we're going to do here today <clears throat> is we're going to, oh my god, excuse me, <clears throat> oh my god, my something to my throat or something, but today we are doing quite a big pack opening here. So we can do two of these mini ultimate packs and two of these jumbo elite packs, which is going to take out about 4,000 of our points, and then the rest of our points are going to be spent on premium packs. And the reason that we're going to do this is because I want myself mostly but also you guys to see how worth it you know packs are this year um i've seen a lot of people get a lot of good pulls out of packs this year i don't know if the pack probabilities are any good this year i don't know if we're gonna if people are just getting lucky but it seems that generally people are getting really good pulls out of their packs um so this this year could maybe be the first year that we do this video and it actually maybe proves to be worth it um Obviously, it's still, you know, kind of the opening days. Like, I believe the game came out, what, like, early access started on the 13th, so it's only been out for, really, is it not having been a week yet? That's ridiculous. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, we're kind of, we're kind of just going to, you know, open these up and kind of see what we can get. So we're going to open up, like I said, two of the mini ultimate packs, two of the jumbo elite packs, and then literally every single other point we're going to be spending on premium packs now. This is an experiment that I'm really that I'm actually like I'm actually curious myself to see how worth the packs are this year. This is going to be a long video, considering I'm going to do it completely unedited. I want you guys to see every pull, good or bad, because the most important thing for me is transparency. Like I don't want to, you know, be doing little jump cuts here and there to make it seem like I'm getting like good pulls like more often than most. Um, Seventeen thousand, almost eighteen thousand points. Um, probably close to $200 um, here in Canada. Um, and, well, without further ado, we've already like three minutes in, so I'm pretty much just repeating myself and wasting time, but we're going to get right into this. I think, I think I'm stalling a little bit, actually. Not like I can never get the points back, but... Um, so, I think... I mean, this has 11-plus 80 overall players, so the odds of getting an 83-plus player in this one are 74% with the odds being 87% in this one. So we're going to open up the Jumbo Elite Pack first. We're going to open up those two as f kind of first thing. <clears throat> oh my god. Okay. Oh! Oh no! Dude! <laughs> I just want to spit all over the place. Our first pull is a Vladimir Tarasenko. Then we get Backstrom as well. <clears throat> and who else are we going to get here? Pecorine, Tom Wilson, Braden Point, yo, okay, honestly, so far, I'm actually a little bit impressed, that's an 84 overall and an 85 overall in the same pack, Ooh, that tear single looks so good, oh, Man, I have an addiction to opening packs, I will not lie. There is not many things that I love more than wasting my money on packs for a game that's just going to be completely the same next year. Um, I know it's completely irrational, and even spending this much money on it is completely irrational, but there's just something about, you know, seeing the packs, you know, flip open that I just... <sighs> oh, bro, what is happening? So we get the 84 overall lit versus grit... Um, Matt Duchesne here. Like I said, I mean, as of right now, I cannot complain. So, oh, no, 
No! No! <laughs> we pulled Crosby! We pulled Crosby in our second pack! Bro. I don't know if EA knows that I hit the record button or what. In this pack, we get another 84 overall and an 87 overall player in Crosby. Oh my... Dude. I mean, I said it. I said it. People have been getting really good pulls this year. So these are nine items that are guaranteed all 80 plus overalls. Was the Jumbo Elite that as well? So this one has just 11 80 plus overalls. So let's see what we get in here. Okay. So that's one of the new primetime cards, Wayne Simmons there. I'm not expecting as much out of this one, to be honest. But, pfft, I mean... Oh my god, dude! I believe the 87 is the highest overall you can get currently. And I mean, we're we're rocking out the 85, so we just get Ico, we get Gibson. I mean... I'd say we're doing pretty freaking good for ourselves so far. And then we can... Um, we're going to open up this last mini alpha pack. I'm kind of trying to go through them quickly so that we can, you know, so this video isn't, like, f super, super long. But at the same time, I'm kind of... You know, the Lip versus Grit card, Kadri. I mean, that was our worst pack yet. Right there. This pack right here was our worst pack yet. Was this pack worth the 1,000 points? <clears throat> I guess that really depends on the price of some of these players, right? Like, is Kadri a... 20 or 30k player um and would these guys would these guys be able to make up the rest of that kind of you know the rest of that uh that uh you know i believe like this pack is what 50k so that was our second ultimate pack to open i believe so i'm almost considering going for that but like none of those seem that great to be honest so i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna just start ripping open the base packs oh not with coins we're going to be here for a long time. Um, we're already about seven minutes into the video, and we're, we've already been... Uh... Okay, I mean, again, this this is the part of the packs where it's not going to be as exciting. Like, I can't see us getting as many good pulls, you know what I mean? Like, I just, it, just, it just doesn't happen that often that you get that many good pulls in one go. So we're going to start skipping these open instead of me going through them. I mean, we pull a second Pecorine. Um, which in my opinion is honestly a decent pull. Um, we get a couple gold jerseys, so we can probably even open up more packs with the, with all the jerseys that we get after this. Um, now we see the amount of gold players we're going to do this is, is going to be, like, unimaginable at this point. Um, so again, nothing great in this one. Again, like, we're pretty much expecting now that the premium packs are just going to be pretty garbage. Um... So, you know, we're just going to kind of rip these open and kind of see where, how it goes. One, two, I mean, there's three gold players in that one. So, like, I guess you can't really complain about that. Um, you know, I'm thinking of maybe ripping open some of these, uh, some of these lip versus grip packs. But, like, some of them just aren't great. Like, the odds of getting an 83 plus player is 35% for that one. The odds of getting an 83 plus player is 50% in this one. So, this is all untradeable, though. Screw it, we'll go for it. Gold Collectible will be able to help us out with some sets anyway, so we'll definitely take this. We pull that Duchesne again. So we can, you know, use... We can use this Duchesne on our team and uh, sell the other one. 500 coins, then obviously our Gold Collectible there. So again... Um, I'm going to pretty much leave it up to you guys to kind of see, you know, judge whether this is... Whether this is worth it or not. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I want to... We can only get one of these, right? We can't open more than one. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. So I guess we're going to open up this one. This one has 30 items in it. Like, that's... 83 overall there. So, Robin Lane are not a bad card. We get a really, really interesting looking prime time there that I'm probably never going to use. Justin Falk and Hornquist. I'll make sure we uh, redeem these coins here. A lot of golds in this pack, which is is really really nice and some more extra coins as well i mean 
in the end, some of, the, some of these packs are just going to become worth it just due to the uh, the sheer amount of of, um, of gold players you get. Like, if you're going to spend money, sometimes that's just... Okay, so we can only get one of those as well. Wow. We're going to be kind of crap out of luck here with these special packs here soon. Like I said, we'll just open literally every special pack that we can. Ooh! An icon collectible. So, if you guys haven't been watching the Hut series, we already have one icon collectible. So that's icon collectible number two right there. And if we wanted to, obviously we have probably more than enough gold players now to make another one. So we're definitely going to have to, you know, keep an eye on that and definitely look into that. Okay, so we can open up more than one of these. Like I said, it, it, it would be... It would probably make the experiment more realistic if I opened only... Um... You know, only premium packs for most of my points, but... It's less fun to open premium packs with your points, and generally, if there's a special pack in the store and you buy points, you're not going to be just getting premiums with your points. McCann there, not a, not a bad pull. Ekman Larson, nice card that we didn't get yet, that we don't have yet, so um, we'll definitely take that. Um, how many of these can we get is the real question. Is there an endless, is there an endless amount of these, or 1,500 coins? I mean... I'll take these coins all day. Spurge in there. And Konechny. I mean, again, we're, we're really not... Uh, we haven't gotten too much since, you know, those opening packs, but... Uh, I mean, again, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I mean, the Crosby alone probably pays for a decent amount of this pack opening, to be honest. Like, that's just how it is. It's Crosby, so it's, it's just going to be... His price is probably going to be ridiculous. Especially since we're still only a week in. Would have been nice to see one of maybe the other 87 pluses, but I mean, yet again, the pack opening is far from over. we still got about 9,000 points. Um, so like I said, it's, it's far from over yet. Um, it does kind of suck that there's only a limit of two on these packs, because these packs are clearly the ones that you want to get. But for the sake of, you know... Exp I must be able to get unlimited amounts of these. It, it has to be. Unless the amount's are like super, super high per day. A Ducks Icon? 74 overall? Eh. Braid McNabb. Just making sure there's nothing back here that's going to be super important before we redeem these coins. I mean, like I, I, I said it, I've said it a million times and I'm going to say it again. The amount of golds we're getting is, is huge for us. Um... Okay, so it literally says on the bottom here, no quantity limit. Does it say that for the rest of them? Yeah, it does. They, they never, they never adjust that. They, they never, they never tell you the quantity limit on the packs. Like for Tannen, Hints, Stanton, Eberle. So that wasn't a great one. That was probably one of our worst packs here in a while. But again, we're still getting golds every day. So I'm. <laughs> Okay, let's let's quit that for a while. Let's let's go back to our premium packs because we're, we're we're actually zooming through this kind of quick. It's been 13 minutes and we've already burned through like probably almost 10,000 points. So it's so easy just to use up your your hub points or NHL points or whatever they call them this year. I always call them pucks. I don't know why. It's always coins and pucks. That's that's what it is. Spurge Spurgeon there. And a, quite a few golds. So. Again, when, when you get a premium pack, of course it's it's going to be super cool if you get a super good pull, but in the end, even if you just get, if you just get like, even if you just get a lot of golds, that's important as well, so. Stepan, that's actually a pretty good pull there. Like again, what, for some reason, whenever I think of, of premium packs, I don't think of big like 87 plus like crazy pulls or anything. If we get one, if we get like an 84, 85, 86. You know, something along those lines. I will certainly not complain. I mean, we're getting a decent amount of 82s here. Like, we're not... We're not really struggling for... In that, uh, sense, but, uh... Let me go and... Keep ripping these open here. I definitely feel like the 300-point packs are much more worth it, and I feel like we should go back to those. Just because... Just the amount of golds that were guaranteed in that pack, or the amount of golds we seem to be getting. Let's see. We're getting a lot of celebrations out of these, which, meh. But, uh, Zetterberg, wow. I remember when he used to be, like, one of the best possible players you could get in Hut, man. Dating myself a little bit, I guess. Well, 
say dating myself it really wasn't like it was that long ago but um although i don't think we actually got that many golds in that so i think i just ate my own words there wait dude okay what is this gonna be it, it's an icon right oh please please be something good six stanley cups and a calder Eight All-Star Games and Islanders. Okay, Brian Trache, obviously not the greatest icon we could have pulled. But I will certainly take that. I will most definitely take that. So obviously, I believe the icons go up to, what, 89 right now? The bronze icons. And he's an 86, so he's not, he's not the greatest. Um... But again, definitely a situation where I'm going to take what I can get. Um, we just pulled an icon, guys. Like, that's on. That is my first actual icon pull out of a pack since icons have been a thing, which I guess is only been like what two years now. But still, that is my very first icon pull out of a pack. So, what's going to happen is, at the end of the video, we're going to kind of go through my collection, and I'm going to you know try to recall what I pulled. I should have been keeping a tally, if I'm being honest. But I'm, I'm going to go and look at what I pulled, and I'm going to just so you guys can see and judge for yourselves whether you think, you know, what we pulled and, you know, the amount of the amount of money I spent and everything was worth it. Obviously, spending $200 is a little bit far-fetched. Um, probably 98.9% .9 of people will not spend this much money on this game. Um, and I will be honest, I don't blame you. I don't know why I did it other than for the sake of, of doing this video. Um, but I think that it, it's just a way to shine kind of a light on, you know, exactly... Dude, that's our third <laughs> Lit versus Grit Duchesne. Um, is he the best Lit versus Grit player you can get? I really don't know. I feel like there's 85s that you can probably get. I think there was a Carlson or something that you can get. But I mean, still, 84 overall special card. We'll certainly take that. Um, We've got Hellebuck here. That's our first 84 that wasn't that just passed Duchesne here in a while. So we'll definitely take that as well. Gibbons and a lot of silvers. So the silvers we're pretty much just going to constantly be using to do like gold upgrade sets and all this thing, all these things. So there must be, yeah, there has to be an unlimited quantity of these because we've just been ripping them through and without any, any warning here. We've just been going and going. We've got a lot of arenas, actually. I've never seemed to see arenas, but... Lately, I mean, especially in this episode, I don't know if it's if it's these packs in particular or what. But also, is there no such thing as a lit versus grit collectible? Like, what is happening? <laughs> like, why? Like, why have I not gotten like a gold collectible or anything yet? That's what I'm worried about. I've gotten one gold collectible so far. Like, I don't really think I'm trying to make any of the lit versus grit players, even though their cards look super dope. Um, I don't know. I, there's, it's just there's going to be better sets in the future. There's going to be much better better players. Um, I think I'll probably get an icon. I'll probably switch that gold collectible to an icon collectible and get an icon, to be honest. Because um, I can probably get a... But at the same time, maybe I'll switch my icons into those gold collectibles and we can do that set. I really don't know. Um, it's definitely busy this year. There's... They've added a lot of things, Charlie Coil there, and then some more coins, so we've got a decent amount of these, uh, these you know, redeeming coin drops. Obviously, I think we started at like 31k, so I mean, not, not a crazy amount of coins coming out of them, but they've been pretty frequent, so I'll definitely take it. Um, 79 overall there. Another, just another 75 overall, like, icon card. Couple gold players there, and another gold arena there at the end. So we've got quite a few golden arenas and golden jerseys that we're going to be able to, you know, eventually in, at the end of this trade in for premium packs, which we are going to do because, you know, again, this is an experiment and I want to see, like, obviously, generally, if you, hey, dude, what is with these, like, really, really low overall icons? I guess I should have checked what was in the store today. Um, but yeah, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to just, like, after we, you know, use up all these points or at least, you know close to using up all these points to get that uh, point total back down to zero we'll uh 
we, you know, go and do as many sets as we can and kind of, you know, see, see, um, all the spoils of, of our pack purchases here today. So let me, 79 overall there, another gold arena, another 79 overall and a 74 overall. So we're getting about three, um, gold players per pack here. It's been a while since we had, a, since we've had, you know, a decent pull. Um, we've just been ripping and ripping and ripping. Um, Kalorn there. These celebrations are probably going to be pretty good for our coin total here too. So yeah, we're averaging about three gold players per pack here. And I think in premiums you can guaranteed two, but can get more than two. Let's switch it up and open up a premium pack here just to, just to say we did it. Anthony Manta. That's why you switch it up. <laughs> that was actually pretty good. I'll, def <laughs> I'll definitely take that. Um, don't think much is going to beat the uh, the icon pull. Like I said, that's why I was so confused. As to I thought it bugged out. I literally never pulled an icon. I have spent a pretty... Ooh! Couturier. Okay, see? that this And Makar. I didn't even see him there. That was a good pack. Um, so see? This is the key. We're going to start switching every time now. We're going to go... Actually, let's do one more of these, and then we'll go back to a premium, and then we'll come back to these. That's the play. See? See, this one's going to have nothing good in it. Quite a few golds, but no, like, you know, stellar players. Actually, like, five or six golds. And then watch. We're going to go We're gonna go to the premium pack. We're going to pull an 83-plus in this premium pack. Let's see if I'm, I'm a fortune teller. Going to reveal all. Well, not really a fortune teller, but three gold players out of that, which, again, it's pretty much all I'm looking forward to the premium packs. Um, I mean, man, this may be the quickest someone's ran through 20,000 NHL points in the history of going through NHL points. This has been ridiculous. 83 overall Anderson there, big old Freddie Anderson. 78 overall, like, see, I mean, we've been getting a lot of golds here in these... Um, which I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy about for sure. I haven't even picked up my my lone master item for for the lit versus grit set yet, which I should probably do at some point. But nothing great in that one. I will admit, didn't even really get. Only got like three golds there, so that one kind of sucked. But we'll roll with the punches, I suppose. And we've got some more. Um, coins to redeem here not seeing anything too great i keep forgetting to look up top like literally if i look up at the top left it's going to tell me if i got a good card or not and i always forget that so we're going to do the big old reveal all here and there's going to be a good card in this one or not but it's weird i never i never used to trust it because in in past nhl games like some special cards for some reason wouldn't give you the like the white circle or you know one of the colored circles on the uh i'm awful at math i need to get this down to 1200 and then i can do like you know i think four more of those so i need to get it as close to 1200 as i can so let's open up this get me down to 1300 i just hate having a like an uneven point i would look i hate having like 50 points left so we're literally going to open up a mini like a base pack here just because because i don't want to have you know an uneven point total One gold there and a bronze. Let's go. I think that's our first bronze of the episode. Right here at the end. Okay, so now we've got 1,200 points. I believe we have four of these remaining. If my math is correct. I assume that's right. So we got four of these to go. Another friggin' crappy icon, man. Um, so, I mean, we're, we're at about 900 points here now. I'm hoping for maybe one last good pull. Um... Not sure if we will get one. I mean, nothing really good in there. We've got two packs to go. Let's see here. Come on. Don't let me down. Nothing great in this one either by the looks of things. No, uh, no glint on the screen up top left there. One final pack here. Well, probably not the final pack, because we still got some sets that we're going to go wait here. But still. Okay, and we get a step on there. So, and a gold collectible. Okay, the final pack. K. 
came in clutch. It showed up. We got one, two, three, four, five. Five gold players, 181 plus, and a gold collectible there out of that pack. So now this puts me in a bit of an awkward situation because we now have two gold collectibles and two icon collectibles. So we have to figure out exactly what we want to do with these icon collectibles. So you need 10 gold collectibles to get one of the nine overall masters. Um, which we're pretty far from at this point. Um, we could get one of the 89s if we wanted to, that, but they would be untradeable, um, which I'm not really feeling like I want to do. I'm thinking that it would actually be more bang for our buck to make an 88 overall icon or to even you know i'm actually gonna hold on to my collectibles i think and in a future episode probably quite soon with the amount of um, coins we may make from this episode probably fairly soon i will do uh, me getting the 89 overall gretzky or lemieux um okay let me Let's go to our sets here, you know, kind of see what we can do here. So we've got, I believe we probably have arenas, jerseys, and logos that are like enough gold logos and stuff to do. We only got three gold logos from that whole pack opening. Um, we already had three jerseys in here, and we have way more than that in here now. So, um, and it's honestly personal preference about what you want to do. Like some people would probably sell the jerseys and that's probably what I'll do with the remaining jerseys and stadiums that we have um, obviously you don't make a ton of coins from doing that but you know you sell 20 or 30 jerseys and you make like 3 or 5 or 10k coins in some cases so in some cases it is worth it so we got 2 premium packs out of that I'm thinking we want to do a silver upgrade here as well uh, we, got a, we got quite a few silver players there so we'll make sure that we put those guys to use because obviously the more silver players you make the more gold players we'll have um, I'm trying to think, is there anything else? I don't really think so. I think that that's about it. I'm completing an objective or something, apparently. One of my dailies. I haven't been doing my dailies at all lately. I'm bad for that. And I'm completely off topic now. Okay. Let's get into these last three packs here. So we'll open up the two gold players pack first. See what we can get here. Nothing great. Middle stat, though. That's an interesting looking card. Um, but again... Those are pretty much just going to go to either Icon Collectibles or Gold Collectible uh, sets. Um, let's see, anything good in this one? Three golds, so again, we'll certainly take that. And then we have I mean, one last premium pack here. A thousand coins, and nothing else too great in that one. So, that was what... I believe almost 18,000, I think I had what, 17,850 points or 18,000 something points. And that is what that many points gets you. So we'll come in here and we'll kind of see, um, we'll see what we got. Oh no, is there a way that I can see my whole collection actually? There we go, okay. So we pulled, in this episode, we pulled Crosby, Trache, Eichel, Gibson, Tarasenko, Couturier, we pulled multiple of these Duchesnes. We pulled the Hellebuck, we pulled the Point, the Anderson, um, Backstrom, Larson, um, the Kadri, Laner, Makar, sorry, I'm trying to figure out which ones I pulled and didn't pull. Mantha, and then, you know, some of these other players, Charlie Coyle, Barry, like a lot of a lot of 82 pluses actually, which is which should be good to uh should be good for the coin total. We've got a couple, quite a few doubles here. We pulled a couple Stepans, a couple uh, Pecorines. We've got a, quite a few 81s, but we now have 639 items here. Um, and if we go to gold players only. Oh, is that? Wait. I was going to say that can't be right. So we have 309 items here. Wow. Wow. Um, 
That's uh, that's pretty good. 309 gold items now. Um, I'll certainly take that. I will certainly, certainly take that. So I think the plan is I'll probably sell like the 83 pluses or, you know, probably put a couple of them on my team maybe. Or I'll make my team still trash a little bit. Like the Duchesne and stuff we'll definitely put on. I don't know if I'm going to keep Crosby or not. Might sell them. Might keep them. Um, yeah, guys. So that is what 18,000 points got me, at least, um, here in um, NHL, you know, 2K21 or 2021. or. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm gonna leave that up to you guys' interpretation, whether you guys figure that was that was good or not. I'm not too sure how I feel about it. Like, I've gotten some of the best pulls that I've ever packed in my personal, um, you know, time playing hut. Like, you know, pulling an icon, even though it wasn't a great one, is pretty decent deal for me. Like, let's go see how much he's worth before we like, we'll go see how much Crosby's worth, and we'll go see how much. Um, um, Trachi is worth. So if we're going to hit up the NHL, hit up the pens first, we'll go and do, we'll do Crosby first. So he's about 100k right now, or pretty close to it. So, I mean, 86k there, 91, 85, 86. Yeah, so he's about he's about 85, anywhere from 85 to 100k at the moment, which is not great, not awful. Um, the market's been kind of weird this year, I find. Like a lot of players aren't really that expensive, which is is, is proving to be quite interesting. Um, and if I go into icons, oh, are they going to be in the alumni association? don't actually know no I think they might just be I don't I don't I could never remember how to search for a specific oh my god I just actually exited that. okay wait I could never I could never remember how to search up for a specific icon um, master icons that's probably why so we look up master icons and then we go to NHL, do any show up? No. But if we do NHL Alumni Association, they all show up. Okay. We figured out we figured out the kink in our problem. We were not searching at master icons there. Um, New York Islanders. We've got Trache, who is also about, you know, anywhere from about 85k here as well. So I would say, oh, and actually, let me make sure we're looking at the right guy here. Yeah, so about 85k. For um, for Trache is the lowest one in the market, so probably sell him right away for about 80k. That's if we don't want to use him, um, which I, I don't think I do. I, I don't know if I want to use Crosby this year either. Um, but yeah, so like I said, this is about 30 minute video at this point. 18,000 hot points. My bank account is crying. Um, but again, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys. Feel free to obviously subscribe for more of this kind of content. I'm um, obviously the money spending won't be as heavy, but um, we've got tons of fun stuff coming up, whether it's in NHL or in, in other games surrounding NHL. So um, yeah, I really do hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you in the next episode, guys. Peace out.